I've always loved me some tin fish. The last couple years have been full of so many unexpected twists and turns. Just as the wheel of fortune is always turning, there are no accidents. <laughs> Everything that happens is meant to redirect us onto the path that we're truly meant to be on. And now, I invite you to join me as I leave the comforts of my hometown to embark on a new journey. Follow me on my next adventure. Me and Priscilla are actually going to both go grocery shopping and we're going to compare prices on I would say just kind of like essential items. Okay, let's make a quick list of what we want to check out. I'll be listing the prices in Malaysian ringgit and Canadian dollars. We're literally on opposite sides of the world with just a 20 to 32 hour flight away. I've got my shopping list and now we're gonna go check out the prices. I'm not too familiar with Malaysian grocery stores, so we're gonna go check one out. Um, and I don't know necessarily if it's like, it feels like it could be like more on the higher end, it does seem a little bit more boutique-y. I noticed that a lot of the grocery stores I've been to have been in malls, so I don't know if they have other grocery stores that aren't in malls or if they're all in malls. I'm not really sure, but anyways, so we're gonna go check it out and Priscilla's also gonna go to one that's a little bit more boutique-y that I felt was kind of more comparable um, in Toronto. So let's compare and let's go. Let's go grocery shopping. And we're here. Come grocery shopping with me in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. looks pretty similar to grocery stores that you would see in North America. I noticed one thing is they have like a lot of um, specialty fruits and things like that and the price does seem to be quite a lot more. These Japanese strawberries, 99 ringettes. I haven't seen those in Toronto but they and are pricey. Other Woo. Like that. We've got our list. And we have Priscilla in Toronto doing the same. Hey guys, so I am here in front of the farm boy. Um, me in Toronto, I should say. Me and Melanie are gonna do something fun and we're just gonna do some comparison shopping. She's in Malaysia right now and um, we just thought it'd be cool for you guys to see the differences in the pricing, especially with inflation here in Toronto. This is Farm Boy. It's actually one of my favorite grocers in Toronto. It's boutique, but you can find decent deals here, here we too. Go. Right off the bat, you can see that it's set up similar to the grocery store I'm at as well. I guess grocery stores are pretty standard the way they're set up generally. Here's avocados. So this is one jumbo avocado. It's $13.90. And then we have a little bag of avocados. So there's three and that's $19.90 ringgit. I always thought avocados were extremely pricey in Toronto, but they are way pricier in Malaysia. I guess it's because a lot of the avocados come from Mexico, which is just south of us in Canada, so it's easier to transport. Prices in Toronto can be much higher for avocado depending on the season, but definitely Toronto for the win for the avocado. And we have some pre-made salads here. There's six I actually really like these, so I'm gonna get some of them. Now in Toronto, the pre-made salads look a little bit more gourmet, but definitely pricier. For more affordable pre-made items, it's always a win in Malaysia compared to Toronto. For pre-made goodies, Malaysia wins by a landslide every time. Oh my gosh, they have edible flowers. Ah, that is so cute. I love that. I love edible flowers. I don't really I'm not cooking anything fancy enough for these, but like, how beautiful. I love that. We have lettuce here. We've got the head lettuce, which is 480 ringgit. And then we've got little romaines, which these actually look really different than the ones in Toronto. Um, they're kind of smaller. Um, and those are seven ringgit. And here's some romaine in Toronto. You can see it already looks a little bit different. The romaine lettuce seems to be pretty close in price in both cities, just a little bit cheaper in Malaysia. I definitely know we have these in Toronto. So this is 12.35 ringgit for one single guy here. I love broccoli, yummy. And here's the broccoli at Farm Boy in Toronto. The broccoli seems to be a little bit cheaper in Toronto, but maybe it's because of the packaging in Malaysia. So for all you broccoli lovers, Toronto for the win. Every penny counts, right? We've got our cauliflower, 11.05 ringgit. Nice. 
Let's see if the exotic fruits are more expensive over here or if they are more affordable because we are in an exotic climate. So here's some beautiful, oh, these are from Vietnam actually, which is pretty close to where we are compared to where Toronto is. So this is um, 980 ringgit for two pieces or one piece for 540. In Canada, dragon fruit is definitely a specialty item. You can't even find it everywhere, but the price difference is insane. Malaysia for the win for dragon fruit. I'm actually gonna get these dragon fruit because like, look how cool they look. In the cart. Got some chicken breast. So. This is skin off chicken breast. It's 1480 ringgit. Yeah, they're all about the same. This one's 15, 14 ringgit. I haven't personally come across these in Malaysia yet, but in Canada, these rotisserie pre-cooked chickens are incredibly popular. They are a staple in every grocery store. And just like in Toronto, we've got a big section of waters and things like that. Some utensils. We have that too. In Malaysia, you're actually not supposed to drink the tap water, so bottled water is a necessity. Anyways, let's get these bad boys. I already have a couple, but we'll get a couple more. We have a 24 case of Coca-Cola, which for some people is a staple, I'm not a soda person, but... Coca-Cola's for everyone. Definitely Malaysia for the win for the soda and pop fans. There's loads of coffees. I feel like there's a lot more instant coffees here, like individually packed, which I don't really remember ever seeing too much in Toronto. Here's kind of a coffee that I know they definitely have in Toronto. It's um, 100 grams and it's 1410 ringgit. Definitely a big section of instant noodles. I feel like this is a lot bigger than in Toronto. I don't know, we'll just look at maybe like one cup. So these are like 250 ringgit, 430 ringgit. At the store Priscilla was at, they only had one option of instant noodles, so slim pickings. Price comparison is pretty similar in Malaysia and Toronto, but definitely for selection, Malaysia is the winner. Tuna is always a staple for me. I've been really liking um, like a little can of tuna or a little can of salmon on my pre-made salads. A really good quick meal. Got all the tin fish, which is kind of similar to Toronto. Um, then we have these little mini ones, which are 890 ringgit. And then we have the bigger ones, which are about like 780 ringgit. Winning by a landslide, Malaysia tuna sandwiches for everyone. I've always loved me some tin fish. Frosted <laughs> flakes, it's twelve fifty ringgit. I'm a big wrap girl, so they have a lot of different wraps. This just kind of looks like regular, so it's eight wraps for eight sixty ringgit. Definitely Malaysia for the win on the price of wraps. Breakfast burrito, anyone? They have a decent amount of cheese here, but I've definitely seen way more in other places in Canada. Okay, here's some sharp cheddar, 23.90 ringgit. Definitely the cheese is on par for price in both Malaysia and in Canada. Cheese is kind of pricey, I guess, wherever you are. Very different from Canada. So in Canada, we absolutely do not leave our eggs out. They're always refrigerated. So this is kind of unique. Also, the egg selection is quite different. So. We've got like these specialty century eggs and things like that, salted duck eggs, 
century eggs. I think these, yeah, they're black inside. So I have never tried these. I don't know if I'm brave enough. <laughs> and then these are tree duck eggs. So these are actually black inside. Uh, so here we've got the packs of 10 and 15, which is different in North America. Um, and then the four packs of the specialty eggs. So definitely on the lower end, we've got like 735 is the cheapest. And then on the higher end um, for comparable size, we've got, oh, okay. So these are like the most expensive eggs. These are booster eggs and it's a 10 pack for 1370 ringette. So what makes these so special? Okay, so these are organic, rich, enriched. So these are like the super duper eggs. So that's the price on those. So these are specialty eggs. eggs. I think they're cured. They're already cooked and the inside is black. They're called sentry eggs and there's duck and chicken ones. Yeah, it's very, very different to have the eggs outside because in North America, they're always refrigerated. Also, um, something I noticed that's interesting is the eggs come in 10 packs rather than 12. So in Canada, it's always like 12, 24, that kind of thing. And here we've got 10 eggs in the packs, which is kind of cool. And here's in Toronto where the eggs are always refrigerated. In Toronto right now, the price of eggs has increased so much over the last year. It's insane. Both the most affordable and the most expensive eggs in Malaysia are almost half the price as the price of Toronto. Oh my. Malaysia wins by a landslide for the price of eggs. <laughs> It seems like this is the whole milk section, which is very, very small compared to North America. Minted in North America, you'll probably see with Priscilla, there's like a whole aisle of like bags of milk, four liters of milk, different, different consistencies of fat, like all these different things. So it definitely feels like the milk um, section is very small here, unless I'm missing it and it's somewhere else. Chocolate milk, soy milk, full cream milk, that looks kind of tasty, like creamy things. Australian milk, uh, fresh farm milk. The selection's Coconut still pretty rice. good. It's, it's like just maybe not as much quantity. Them. And there's like some banana milk. You know what? I used to have this at my grandma's, my dad's mom. Flavored milk when I was younger as a kid. That's cool. Okay, so this looks like regular milk. So this is um, fresh milk and it is 15, 20 ringgit. So one of the main differences in this grocery store is definitely that there is a non-halal section. So in this section, it's got all the um, wines, liqueurs, pork products. So let's just go take a little look in there. Yeah, so it's just all the liquors and wines my favorite section <laughs> um pork products and things like that um is this all pork yeah it's all bacon and i guess just things that are non-halal pork pizzas the sausages so that's pretty cool the non-halal section but i'm not gonna lie it feels very creepy in here the vibe Definitely haunted. It's weird. Very different energy from out here. So <laughs> Whoa, I feel like these prices are the same as in Toronto. So this Ben and Jerry's $34.95 ring at. Definitely Ben and Jerry's ice cream is way cheaper in Toronto, but it really does depend where you buy it also. These are 18.90 ringette. But one thing I love is they have different flavors than we have in North America. So look at this truffle flavor chips. I really like these ones. This isn't the biggest selection here, but yeah, they sometimes have a lot of different flavors in, in Asia. Oh look, <laughs> chicken flavor, pretty cool. And one other thing is, in North America, we don't have to weigh the fruits and vegetables on our own anymore. I think there's an option that you can, but they actually have little things at the register where the cashier will actually just weigh them for you. But here, you have to actually take them and go weigh them yourself. And I've never actually done it because I always forget because I'm not used to it. Um, and I don't even know where to do it. So I've kind of just avoided 
um, getting anything that I have to wear because I don't know where I have to weigh it. So I'm following the guy right now because once again, I thought that they were actually um, already priced out, but they're not. So he's going to show me how to weigh them. I think you just have to go up to a separate counter and get it weighed with a sticker before you bring it to the main counter to pay. Unless this is different in different grocery stores, but that's how it seems to be working here. And he would have just done this for me, but I came with him because I wanted to film. Tie it up for me and put a little sticker. Sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Now he's bringing it back. Success. I actually have a reusable bag, but I forgot it. I didn't know if I was going to buy too much stuff. Two pre-made salads, 1080 ringette. Got two cans of tuna, one kind of bigger one in case I'm extra hungry. And then a smaller one, sorry, salmon, cans of salmon. Two waters, one cheese. Got this for 75 ringette. Let's cook. It's not really cooking, it's just putting things together. I'm gonna do a Caesar salad. Oh, this is supposed, I swear, this is supposed to have cheese on it. Anyway, let's do this. It's been one of my go-to, easy, somewhat healthy meals. Yum. get fancy and put this on a plate but you know what you could like add anything you wanted to this Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see more of. Yeah!